What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard back with another Division 2 video. Today is Wednesday, May 19th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. So this is actually a video I do every month or so because a lot of new and returning players reach out to the channel and the most commonly asked question is what are the different ways you can get exotics in the game? Now, if you happen to be new here, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways here, and our current one is for a PlayStation 5, and all you need to do to enter is either subscribe here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. The winner will be announced on July 4th of this year, and as I've said in every previous video, please keep in mind that watching our content is not a requirement to win. Only watch the things here you may enjoy. That's why you have the option of entering via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. Now, we all know by now that there are multiple ways that you can get exotics in the game. I mean, you have missions, you have control points, you have bounties, you have the summit. So what I'd like to do is take a few minutes and go over some of the most efficient ways that you can really hunt for these things. I'm sure like many of you out there when it comes to, let's say, missions, I have certain ones that I'm more proficient at, I can get through at a much faster rate. So what I do on a daily basis is I check the map, see if anything I'm looking for that has to do with exotics is located at that mission. Now, we will go over farming missions in a moment. However, I'd like to start off by talking about the summit, because as all of you know, you can pick your targeted loot, and that's the best way to really pinpoint anything that you may be looking for. Now, for my own personal gameplay in the summit, I've had really good luck when I'm in a group. Solo, I don't really see exotics drop that often, but when I'm in a group, they happen more frequently. So for me, that's something I tend to do. I just do random matchmaking, squad up, and go from there. With that being said, I've heard from a large number of gamers out there saying that they just hit up the summit on their own, they maybe turn on two or three directives if that, farm for certain things, their luck is really good, again those higher floors seem to have better drop rates, so again just play to your game style. The next thing I'd like to talk about is farming control points, and as most of you know, if you're able to farm these on heroic difficulty, you're going to face two named enemies before you finish the thing, and facing named enemies does seem to increase the chance of getting an exotic item to drop. Now keep in mind as I say that, you can run these on any difficulty you want whatsoever, with directives, without directives, that doesn't matter, however in order to face two named bosses before you clear the thing, it does have to be on heroic. So now getting back to missions in regards to farming for exotics, and one thing I've been doing for a while, and it seems to help, and please keep in mind this is not a guarantee, but what I tend to do is in between attempts on missions, I change the difficulty. So for instance, you can see here I'm running this mission on hard difficulty. I think previously I tried challenging or heroic, didn't have any luck, dropped it down to hard, was able to get the item to drop. Now as I said, it is not a guarantee, but for some reason it seems to increase your chances. Many of you have reached out to the channel saying that you've had really good luck getting exotics this way, and once again, I recommend making sure if you're going to do this, you pick a mission that you can get through pretty quick because chances are you'll have to do it multiple times and you want to maximize your gameplay. The next method I'd like to show you today is by far my favorite one in the game and where I've had the most success. And this has to do with farming bounties. Now I actually did a dedicated video on just this a few days back. I will make sure if you missed it, I'll leave a link in the description down below. However, for this, all you need to do, it's really simple, is you go to one of the bounties on your map and you need to make sure it's a bounty that has multiple named targets. Because if you have one target that you wind up, you know, defeating, it's going to end that bounty and you won't be able to reset it. However, for the bounties that have multiple targets, it's a simple routine. All you need to do is, let's say if there are three named enemies in the bounty itself. You kill the first two, you let the NPCs then kill you, then all you do is go back to your map, reload that bounty, and do the whole thing over again. And keep in mind, because you're farming this multiple times in an area where something you're looking for is the exotic targeted loot, it can drop from any NPC at any time. But getting back to the named enemies, in my opinion, the more you face, obviously, the greater chance you have in getting what you're looking for. As I mentioned a moment ago, this is something that I highlighted in a video last week. Again, I'll leave the link down below. But for many players who don't have a lot of time to play in one session, this can really help you maximize your gameplay. One thing I recommend doing is on a daily basis, check your map, look in that area, see what bounties you have, and try to find a bounty that you're really comfortable with running because they do seem to spawn in the same locations, so you want to find a spot that you can get through really quick. 
So for instance, for me, my favorite place to farm bounties is in the Federal Triangle. So if I start up a bounty and it's not at this location you're seeing on the screen right now, I just cancel out the bounty, reload it again, and usually between one or two attempts, it goes where I want it to go. And really quick, for those of you that actually use this method, any spots you'd like to farm, let me know in the comments section down below. You guys know the main goal at the channel is to help out gamers in any way we can, so any tips and tricks you want to pass along, please feel free to do so. Another method I'd like to show you really quick is farming in the dark zone. Now, this is not my thing whatsoever. However, I hear from a lot of gamers saying they have really good luck there. But keep in mind, if you farm in the dark zone, you know, you got to pick the stuff up, extract with it, and that's where it gets tricky. And that is obviously due to the fact that anyone can take your stuff at any time. So, you know, for players who are going to farm in the dark zone, please keep that in mind. Don't get pissed when people take your stuff because that's kind of why people are there. So again, going at your own risk and hopefully you get some good luck when you're hunting. Finally, my friends, I want to once again remind the new and returning players is always remember every week you have three different ways you can get exotics in the game. Now, you can't, you know, choose what exotics you get. It's all luck of the draw, but these are three ways to get exotic caches. You have the weekly summit project where all you need to do is complete 30 floors on the summit. You have the weekly shade requisition where all you need to do is donate some components. And for those of you that can, you also have the weekly legendary mission as well. With all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this video up, but like I said earlier in the video, if you have any great farming methods that you like to use that you've had really good luck with, please let me know in the description down below, as again, we just want to help out as many people as we can. I'd also like to take a moment and thank you all for your continued support. We have so much stuff to look forward to with this game. There's a lot of content on the horizon. I can't wait to bring you more and more stuff, so again, I am so thankful that you're a part of this family. Like I mentioned, at the beginning of the video if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well but most importantly take care of yourselves be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon thanks again everyone Assistance needed. System restored. Oh.